Today, I am sharing five fast and easy Christmas DIYs. These budget-friendly DIYs took me less than one hour to make, and each project is less than $5 each. Now, this is part of an open playlist, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a moment, but first, my name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. This first project is going to be a I was gonna say Santa, a snowman candle. And I just got this pillar candle from the Dollar Tree. I removed the label and I'm just using a black paint pen to add the eyes and the mouth. And I'm using an orange paint pen to add in the carrot nose. Now I'm taking out my vintage Tupperware container to find some buttons. I'm just trying to find three buttons that are similar size so that it'll look nice on this little snowman. And I have this ribbon that was left over from last year. It is a wired, which I do like because it helps make it a little bit easier to maneuver and make it look more like a scarf. And I'm just tying that around the snowman. I'm gonna be hot gluing on the buttons. And one thing to keep in mind, when you're hot gluing onto a colder surface like glass or metal, that hot glue dries just a little bit quicker, and so you just kind of have to work a little bit faster. And as you'll notice, my buttons are a little crooked, so I go back in, pop it off, and add it right back on. Now this next project is gonna be using these little containers that I got from Dollar Tree, and it's in the party section, and one of those bottle brushes. And what I'm gonna do is try to cut it down to size so that it'll fit inside the containers. I had to cut it down, it was a little bit tougher than I originally thought it was gonna be, but I managed to get it done. And then, when I was gluing it in the bottom, it was just looking a little bit messy, and so I was trying a couple different things, using Mod Podge to try to create a little surface to glue onto. I end up just putting a little bit of Mod Podge into the bottom of the container and adding some white sand that I got from Dollar Tree, then hot gluing the tree in, and then gluing another container on top to make a cloche. Oh, I also added the white sand in there as well. As I mentioned earlier, this is part of an open playlist. It's called Five Under Five Dollars. It's a DIY challenge, and it's hosted by Emily from Farm Charm Chic and Missy from Crafty Cove, as well as the guest host, Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. So this next project, I've already painted the terracotta pot white and I'm using some black paint to go around the rim. This paint's a little goopier, <laughs> but um, I'm a little heavy handed with it too, but I managed to make it work. And now, um, while that's drying, I'm taking some craft sticks, some popsicle sticks, and I'm trying to decide how many I'm gonna use. I end up using five and I'm just gonna be gluing them together to make a snowman. And I'm cutting down an additional popsicle stick to be the brim of the snowman's hat, and I'm just using some old, not good scissors to do that. And then I've, I've put some glue on this extra, or this old canvas that I had, and I'm just putting a little bit on the edge, trying not to overdo it with the glue, and then gluing it all together, and then gluing the brim across the top. Now, I'm taking the paint, even before the popsicle sticks dried, I'm taking the black paint and painting the brim of the snowman. I don't recommend this. I was being a little bit impatient and not waiting for everything to dry, so I end up having to go back in and take some popsicle sticks to kind of brace the back of the snowman. And that adds some stability, which is not a bad thing, but I really should have waited until things were more dry. And now I'm taking some white craft paint, I think it's acrylic paint, and I'm painting the snowman's face. It's basically what that is. And then I am taking, this is a new project y'all, keep up. Uh, I'm taking some black paint and I'm painting the lid of this salt and pepper shaker set and I'm painting the other lid. These were a little bit harder to, I didn't have a plan on how to paint these and then let them dry. So, but you know, it all works out. Once I have that, I while those are drying, I am adding the sand, it's white sand that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm filling it up 
And you guys, if you do this project, fill it up all the way to the top. You don't have to use sand. You could use sugar or salt or anything. I don't know, white beads or something. You can use anything you want, but just try to fill it up to the top if you can. If you guys didn't know, I run a group with Sarah from GGB DIY and it's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. The link is going to be in the description box below and you guys, I would be so thrilled if you would join. And if you do join, please share the projects that you're working on, invite your friends. Let's all just have fun crafting and creating. So now it's time to glue the head on and I'm just using these styrofoam balls and I got them from Dollar Tree and I kind of pressed in a little bit to get an idea of where to put the glue and then glued it on. And now I'm just using a black paint pen again to add the eyes and the mouth to each of the salt and pepper, well, to each of the heads that's on top of the salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> and so then I'm using an orange paint pen to make the carrot nose. You guys, these projects are so super easy, just really inexpensive and a cute way to decorate your tiered tray. And of course, I need to put a scarf on. I'm using that same ribbon that I used before. I love it because it's wired and I can kind of manipulate it a little bit, just tying it around and putting it where I want. I take out my Tupperware container again to find six buttons so I can add those two and hot glue them to the snowman. And I really would appreciate it if you haven't already, if you would hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so that YouTube can notify you every time I share something new. Now, I'm just putting the caps on these snowmen and hot gluing it down and just being careful because the hot glue does make the cap, because it's metal, it makes it hot too. And now I'm finishing off that terracotta pot. I'm using the paint pen to add the eyes and the carrot nose. And now I'm finishing out that little popsicle stick snowman. Again, just a paint pen, adding the eyes and the mouth, and then a little carrot orange for the carrot nose. I feel like this little popsicle stick snowman, <laughs> popsicle stick snowman needs a little bit of an embellishment. So I've taken out this Christmas pig that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just taking off a few of the beads. I'm taking off the greenery. Now, the greenery is a little too fluffy, so I'm trying to trim it down. Y'all, in the future, remind me not to buy this because when you trim it down, it's just so freaking messy. And it just gets everywhere and it's just a pain to clean up. But I trimmed it down a little bit and I added that to the brim of the snowman's cap and I think it looks cute that way. Now for some stability at the back so it can stand up on my tear tray, I just got, uh, I just took out some Jenga blocks that I got from Dollar Tree and they're in my stash. And anyway, I'm using those to help it stand up. Y'all, this is how all of my projects turned out. I really do like them and I like the fact that it really took me just about an hour to create all of these cute projects. Now I could have taken a little bit more time with some of them, yes, and done a few things differently, but I really, really like how they turned out. I hope you enjoyed them too. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!